<laughs> I'm a pretty princess. I didn't think about what I wanted to say before I sat down. Hey guys, welcome back to this little corner of the internet. My name is Melody. I know spooky season is technically over, but um, hear me out. I got one more costume for you. So um, actually that's all I really need to say for an intro. So let's just get to it or that way. I don't know which way to point. I didn't think I was gonna do any more Halloween-ish content, but it turns out I have a family Halloween party to go to this weekend and no costume. I was gonna be Kim Possible, but ThreadUp sent me the wrong pair of green pants. So I'm back at square one. So I have about two days until this party. I wanna turn this but ugly blue dress that I have into a Belle costume from Beauty and the Beast or an approximation of a Belle costume. So I'm gonna start chopping up this thing and see what I can get done. So here's the frumpy dress in question. I just never felt great in it, so it got relegated to the to be altered pile. I started by opening up the weird neckline and removing the little frilled sleeve things. Although why I did this with my rotary blade and not just scissors is beyond me like, I chopped off the top half of the dress to start making a more fitted bodice and cut out the wider neckline. Normally I'm super precise about these things, but in the interest of saving time I just eyeballed it, which I would kind of regret later. I used bias seam tape to finish the armholes and neckline. I don't know that this was the best choice for this particular fabric, but that's the choice I made. I also totally used the wrong side of the seam tape on the inside edge. <laughs> Again, time was not on my side, so I just pushed ahead. Somewhere in this process, I also added princess seams, which I forgot to film. Okay, so here's what I have done so far. This is the bodice, and um, right away, you might notice that it's a little bit short. So this uh, neckline comes down a lot lower than I really wanted, and it does kind of like flare out really strange because of the seam tape. I'm not sure how to fix that. I think it'll be okay though. The problem I'm having now though is that what I have left for the skirt is way freaking short. So I wanna add like a waistband, but I don't have enough fabric. Um, I could use this t-shirt fabric that's kind of a similar color, but uh, as you can see, not similar enough. So I am gonna run to the store and see if I can find something to cut up that is a more similar color. Um, whether that's just like another t-shirt that's closer or maybe I can find a little fabric square We will see so I ended up buying a light blue pillowcase that I thought would work But when I took it out of the packaging it had this really awful shiny sheen to it So thankfully my saint of a husband stopped at the store on his way home from work and picked up this pack of fabric for me That was almost the perfect shade But first I made a waistband from some of the remaining original dress fabric I made it longer than needed so I could shorten it later Next, I started making the skirt from the new fabric by folding the two yards in half, then tracing another skirt onto the fabric. I drew the bottom hem of the skirt a couple inches longer than the skirt I was tracing, and honestly, I'm really glad I used the new fabric for the skirt instead of trying to only use the original dress because it would have turned out uh, very, very short. Then I attached the skirt to the waistband, which I had cut to be about two inches. I also closed the bottom half of the skirt, leaving the top half open where the zipper would go. I cut off the extra fabric on the back, again without measuring, which was not the smartest choice, and hemmed down the edge before starting to attach the zipper. Okay, please ignore how loud uh, my landlord's leaf blower is outside. So um, we are two hours until the party starts technically. Um, but I'm still working on this bad boy because I was also editing my video for this week. So I found out that I need to shorten this back part of the dress because the zipper does not match up. So I'm taking off part of the seam binding to cut it and redo it. Um, I also want to restitch this part of the dress. Honestly though, I might not just because seam ripping takes so stinking long, um, but the, the thread tension is just wrong. So uh, I don't know, I'm cutting it close. It's it's like so close and I also want to fix the gaping on the front because of the seam binding, but again, I might have to leave that until another day because the dress itself is almost done and then I really want to make her little apron 
So we'll see. Oh, there's that bug that I thought I got rid of the other day. Freaking, ugh, you're not welcome here, sir. The back looked a little wonky after reattaching the seam tape, but it did mean the zipper now lined up correctly. I then very quickly did a crappy hem on the bottom of the skirt. Oh yeah, I can't hold it out far enough with just my arm, but that tension in the back is making the skirt a little bit shorter right down the middle of the back. So, uh, why? But it was after 3 p.m., so it was gonna have to do. I very quickly mutilated an old shirt in my to-be-altered pile into a sort of apron and grabbed a small blue ribbon for my hair. I really wanted to make a larger bow for my hair, but there just was not time. Once I had the costume on, I hand-stitched a couple of folds in the front neckline to help with the gaping. princess <sighs> so mission accomplished technically this was definitely more an exercise in completing something quickly than doing something well uh, I just feel like a lot of corners were cut this is far from my best work um, but I am proud of myself for just getting the thing done <laughs> there was definitely a point when I just wanted to say forget it I'm just gonna not dress up for this little shindig, but part of what pushed me on was the fact that I asked Charles to run back out to Walmart for me to get this extra fabric. Um, does that still count as a thrift flip if I had to add more fabric than I originally had to it? I mean, the top half is still the original garment, but anyway. For a costume, it worked. People knew what I was, the dress did not rip. <laughs> um, it fulfilled its purpose. But this is, this is pretty rough. Honestly, I kind of want to see if I have enough of this extra fabric left over to just completely redo the bodice because I would like for this to be something I can reuse in the future. I think like if this were for a stage production, you know, from 30 feet away, people probably aren't gonna see my little janky mismatched lines and stuff, but it bothers me. You know, it's that fine line between perfectionism and high standards. I don't know where the line is. Yeah, I definitely want to fix a lot of things, but like I said, I am proud of myself for just getting it done. I don't think I've ever like constructed a dress before like this. I've made skirts before. This was also one of the first projects that I kind of felt more like I knew what I was doing. I don't know, I always feel like even though I've done a lot of sewing and smaller projects, I always have this feeling like I don't know what I'm doing, like they're, the muscle memory hasn't kicked in yet, but I kind of was starting to feel like I do have a little bit more of that muscle memory with this project. I just, I don't know, it kind of felt like something was starting to click. That was nice. So suffice it to say, this turned out a little janky, but it met its purpose, so I'm content with that, but I am going to go back and fix a lot of things. Um, hope you enjoyed watching this whole chaotic process, and um, if any friends need a last minute princess for your birthday parties. I'm a little bummed that spooky season is over, but honestly I will find any excuse throughout the year to make a costume or just make it for no reason at all. So if that appeals to you, you should definitely subscribe and, and all that jazz. So um, hope you guys are staying as sane as you possibly can. Tell your friends and family that you love them and I'll see you guys next time.